Okay, let's start. I hope that you can see my, my screen and can see my slides. Okay, let introduce me, let me introduce me to the audience. I am Professor Massimo Neti from the University of Siena, Department of Environmental Sciences. Here is in this cover, there is my email address. You can see my email address. And uh, uh, I am the coordinator of uh, a quite a new bachelor degree that, is, that was instituted a very few years ago at the University of Siena, named it Agribusiness. Agribusiness, that is a new profession-oriented bachelor degree that is based at the university, at our university, the University of Siena. Here you can see, of course, there is the web page of these schools where you can find uh, all the information concerning this, uh, this bachelor degree. Uh, this bachelor degree is profession oriented and it is aimed at young people that are interested in a professional qualification in agriculture with the aim of acquiring skills and information and knowledge related to modern production in the agricultural sector as well as about eco-sustainable management of agrobiodiversity and wildlife and the management of agricultural enterprises. This bachelor degree, it is characterized by a strong orientation towards the work market, thanks to the involvement of companies, organizations, enterprises that are operating in the agricultural field. And the educational path is distinctly multidisciplinary, as you will realize along the, uh, my presentation. Enterprises and professional association were involved from the beginning of the planning of this bachelor. And the same associations are also involved in the teaching activities. We have uh, teaching contracts uh, involving professionals from the work market, uh, of course, expert of the agricultural uh, field. And a network of about 40 enterprises are collaborating with the university and they have signed agreements with the university to guarantee the possibility of a traineeship for all the students in the different working context. I'm sorry, I, I most probably have to interrupt the sharing because probably something is arriving. Yes, okay. It's Piero Pilon, it's a colleague of mine. Uh, Piero, are you there, I suppose? Okay, we can continue, okay. Okay, we can continue, of course. Sharing my screen and the slides. So now I will try to reply to some to, to reply to some questions. The first is why to choose agribusiness at the University of Siena? Okay, the, the, the reply to this, uh, the answer to this question is quite easy because agribusiness is the only one profession-oriented course in Italy that is devoted to the agribusiness sector. So there is no any other there is not any other kind of course, professional oriented course in the field of agriculture and business in all the territory of, uh, or in all the Italian, Italian territory. And uh, as you know, Italy is, uh, 
is known to be a world leader in the quality of food and agricultural products. And in the national context, the area surrounding Siena is an absolute excellence. It boasts seven productions of top quality wines, the so-called DOCG, that is a protected trademark, the top protected trademark for wine. Uh, other 20 wines that have another type of protected trademark, a little bit lower, that is the DOC. And we have some several others products anyway that are of very good quality, including oil and pecorino cheese, salami, saffron, chestnut, and honey also. So we can say that our territories host a large variety of high quality foods and products deriving from, of course, from agriculture. And also you have to consider that our territory has a strong and ancient historical and cultural tradition in the agri-food sector. Let me introduce you the picture that I choose for my cover of this presentation. The picture is a fresco that is inside the city hall palace of the town of Siena. And this fresco was painted in the middle of uh, the 14th century. So almost uh, something like 700 uh, years ago. And what you can see in this fresco, it is the countryside around Siena. And here you can see very nicely the, the vineyards, such as this one and this one, uh, also this one more far away, and vineyard, but also olive groves, this one, olive groves, and meadow cultivated with wheat. And you can see also some animals, some uh, uh, animals that were uh, reared by the local, uh, the local countrymen. And so at that time, 700 years ago, there was already a very high quality agriculture producing very high, uh, very high quality food. So coming back a little bit is uh, the, the other question is how do the degree course is organized? And you have to say that the educational pathway, as I already told you, is strongly multidisciplinary and includes mathematical, statistical, biological, chemical, economic and legal disciplines within the agriculture and agribusiness sector. And this is why five departments of our university are involved in the teaching activity. And we have also faculty members from other universities that cooperate with us. And also we have teaching contracts to professionals, experts in the field of, uh, in the agricultural uh, field. And uh, one of the main uh, characterizing traits of the uh, educational pathway of our agribusiness bachelor is that a very large part of the total uh, credits of the, of the educational path is are in the form of traineeship in enterprises or institutions involved in the uh, agriculture uh, production and uh, products transformation. So there is a, a strong involvement of enterprises also in the educational pathway of the students. We have also a steering committee composed by representatives from the world of business, of business and professions. And we have, uh, we have signed agreements with national colleges of professions. So you can, you can realize the strong link between our bachelor, our agribusiness, and the 
uh, world of work and this strong connection with the uh, professions and professionals. So, how the degree course is organized, still continue. This is the uh, study plan. Uh, the course, of course, is a bachelor, so it is organized in three years. And we have the first years where there are teaching activities uh, devoted to basic knowledge concerning statistics, plant biology, of course, chemistry, and wildlife management, and plant genetics, as well as uh, economics and agri-food marketing. Of course, there is the, uh, an exam concerning the language ability. Of course, language ability is important, especially English ability, because, of course, the global market, uh, the language of the global market is English. And then the, the students have to do a traineeship, an initial traineeship of quite a, a few hours, and maybe 150 hours, so the very first uh, traineeship activity. And then they have to choose uh, some among some other teaching activities. They have to choose another 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 one. So in the second year, we have also some mandatory uh, teachings uh, teaching activities concerning plant and animal physiology, agricultural system and production, zootechny, food quality and business and administration and management. These are mandatory and then students have to choose other two uh, teaching activities among the uh, following, uh, following uh, uh, disciplines, applied zoology uh, and so on and so on. And uh, at the second year students have also to choose other two uh, teaching activities uh, they have to choose they have completely free uh, they are completely free to choose a teaching activity that was activated by the university uh, of siena so they have a large variety of uh, uh, of uh, of possibilities the third year we have just two mandatory uh, teachings that is that are agricultural and agribusiness law and uh, economics management and the third year is characterized by the very large uh, traineeship activity that is composed by uh, 46 cfu in converted into hours it means something like 1150 hours so a very long activity for traineeship that is very important for the uh, educational part of the students and could be a very good opportunity uh, to establish relationships of course with enterprises and then of course there is the thesis the discussion of the thesis and finally the student will become doctor in agribusiness, of course. And which are the acquired expertises and which are the possibilities of employment of such kind of uh, uh, professional figures? Uh, the expertise uh, is concerning the knowledge about the biological, techno agrarian and legal economic fields concerning, of course, agricultural production, and provides skills concerning the biological and chemical aspects related to agriculture, the organization and control of production process in the agricultural sector, the quality control of raw material and finished products, and finally, the planning and economic management of activities and investments of the enterprise. The applied sectors could be the agricultural, of course, the agricultural production, the eco-sustainable management of the agroecosystem, the valorization of the quality of the productions, and of course, the management of agricultural enterprises. Uh, the, uh, the graduated uh, students may have the possibility of enrollment in professional 
in national professional, professional association and they have the opportunity to become a, a freelance consultant. How to enroll? Enrollment at agribus into agribusiness, enrollment into agribusiness will be accepted until all available places uh, are filled and uh, the places available are around are actually 30 but we are planning to increase a little bit maybe to 40 and at least two places are reserved to non eu students uh, at least because at the moment we have uh, two places that are reserved but again we are uh, planning to increase the two uh, this reservation up to uh, three or four there is not an admission test and there is another test that is a self-assessment test of personal knowledge that is mandatory but not necessary for the enrollment and so this is uh, the end about uh, our agribusiness bachelor course and i hope that uh, this could be of interest for some 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 one of you and of course Come on, we are waiting for you at the, at the University of Siena. We will be happy to host you in the Agribusiness Bachelor course. Thank you so much for your attention. And of course, if there are, uh, if there are uh, questions, I can, we can discuss a little bit. Anyway, you can find also the registry, the recording of this uh, presentation in the, I think, in the future days. And so you have, you know, my email address that is reporting the cover of the presentation, so that you can ask me some more information if you want uh, in the next days or later on. I am uh, fully, uh, fully uh, collaborative in order to provide you more information about our agribusiness goods. Thank you so much. I can stop. I think that I can stop. Uh, yes, I can add some information about the if somebody uh, among the partner business that can be interested in cooperating with this uh, uh, with these schools, and uh, of course we are very interested in to expand our network of enterprises connected with the, these schools, and we are now opening to abroad enterprises. So if there is somebody that is interested in hosting some of our students for their traineeship please contact me and uh, we can plan and to adjust the the partnership to uh, to offer to our students to the opportunities to do their traineeship abroad in some of your uh, business company I think that I can stop the recording if Okay, I will stop the recording this moment. Okay. <laughs>